If you're planning on buying any cards from TCG Player, make sure you use our affiliate link right here in the description of our video to help support the channel. It's the best way to do it and it's free. And if you need any code cards, make sure you check out Potown Store for automatic email delivery and use code TABLEMONTH for 5% off all your purchases. If you're from Europe, MealyBotsGaming.com is a great option to get your cards from. They have all sorts of sealed products, merchandise, and all the sets available from Pokemon Sun and Moon upwards, including the latest Hidden Fate set. Don't forget to use Tailmon code when checking out to get a further 5% off from your final purchase. I definitely feel like I've been getting pretty unlucky. With 4 Lily and 4 Jirachi, we have yet to start Jirachi. We have yet to hit a turn one Lily. And I had to get rid of my power plant initially, a custom catcher, and then I drew into a very awkward hand, had to Volkner. It's just not been working out for us today. It's not been working out for us. Um Derek, sí, sí es viable, pero siento que necesitas demasiado para que para que funcione bien y es como demasiado complicado para lo que intenta hacer. Yeah, once again, going first, we have a terrible hand because we get rid of resources. That's the big issue. Losing all these resources. The deck is dedicating four spots to Jirachi and switching cards, and it's just not getting compensated for it. It's not getting compensated for it. Uh, okay, so one that then is prized. Coco isn't. One Electro Power is prized as well. Thunder Mountain isn't, two energy prized, making sure that that doesn't change at all. And we're up against plus Cephalon, so... I mean, I feel like the second Pigram is decent here. Let's see what we can do here. I'm gonna take the risk, and I'm gonna discard the Lightning. Yeah. Friendly messages, no supporter, just no turn one supporter. That's the story of today. No turn one supporter. That's just the story of the day. And that's it. We're gonna have to use this custom catcher for draw purposes. So might as well use it now, right? Might as well use it now. Just get this guy back. Well, no, I'm, I'll wait for next turn. My other dead end is prized, so it doesn't really matter. I'll go ahead and dance up the ancients already. And we'll pass for now. Next turn I go attach, switch, custom catcher for a lot, but no turn one supporter. Yeah, no turn one supporter, no sign of Jirachi. Why not grab Jirachi? Because if I put away, like, my goal is to attack on turn two. If I put away the Coco Prison for a Jirachi just to see if I get a supporter um, and I whiff, then I'm not even guaranteed the attack next turn. And I might just lose the Jirachi and then my hand is completely dead. So it's not about using Stellar Wish, it's about getting the turn two KO. Yeah, and with this, with what I have right now, I have the turn two. KO as long as I can find an Electro Power. Yeah, so I'm more relying on the Custom Catcher for 3 to get me going a little bit, yeah, rather than going for Jirachi for a potential better setup, yeah, but then I take away the guaranteed turn to attack. Yeah, so, and now with that, the Dene being played, the Beast Ring getting discarded, and no turn 1 Welder, yeah, and only one energy in the discard pile, well, there's even some merit to powering up myself without taking a knockout so that I can deactivate P string immediately, but we'll see. Okay, so I get another energy. Not the best. So this custom catcher for two has got to be the best custom catcher for two the world has ever seen. And that is not it. Ah, oh, this is so ridiculous. I'm gonna take the risk. This deck is really being silly right now. This deck is being really silly. Okay, so my opponent needs triple Magnadel plus attachment 
to KO me, or he needs Welder plus Nagnatel. Welder plus Nag plus Attachment to KO me. Um, ¿Qué más os recomiendo para un Leak Up? Mewtwo y Mew y Ability Regisart son los mejores decks, en mi opinión. How good tag team supporters are, Joe? I haven't read the tag team supporters, honestly, so I couldn't really tell you exactly. Um, I usually don't look at future cards until they're actually relevant for the format. So I'm sorry, I'm not of great help. We get best Bursting Burned, yeah, which is perfectly fine. Um, gives, gives himself the 50-50 chance of not getting um, paralyzed. Like I mentioned, my the Dennis prize, so I am out of draw power. Yeah, no Drachis, no supporters, no anything. This game, it's it's beyond ridiculous here. But at least we're about to get four prizes. So I'll go ahead and retreat. And then I'll go ahead and power up this guy. Who do I power up? I feel like I'll just power up the Pigrom. And then I'll switch. And then I'm gonna go ahead and attack bolt. KOing this person, of course. So no B string. Yeah, no B string. What does ability Reshi lose to? I mean, every deck can lose to every deck. Yeah, but. Bad matchup, Squacknack, of course. It's on consistency sometimes. Malamar can be a little difficult sometimes. Okay, so we're playing we're playing supporter less Pigram apparently today. Playing supporter less Pigram today. Did I record the last loss? I did, right? Yeah, I did. Okay, I'm hoping we'll win this one. I'm hoping we'll win. Heatran doesn't really impact anything. The reset stamp is annoying for sure, because we've literally not thinned the deck at all. But we get two really good cards off the reset stamp, finally. But my bone might just bursting burn again. That's not enough. That's 20 damage short. Yeah, that's 20 damage short, my friend. That is 20 damage short. Uh, no it doesn't, Sebastian. Like, it's not like you, the deck plays four counter stadiums. You can't just say, oh, a deck loses to Power Plant. Yeah, all the decks that have trouble with Power Plant, it's not like you play a Power Plant and then they're like, oh, I'll scoop. Yeah, that doesn't work that way. Power Plant is annoying for it, yes, but it also plays four counter stadiums and four Jirachi. So it has a lot of defense against, um, it has a lot of defense against Power Plant decks. Yeah. Okay, so we managed to get that win. Yeah. Alex, look up Penguin Mario and Luigi. It's the best power up out of any power up ever. <laughs> we'll see. I won't. I don't. I can't do it now. Yeah, because I'm streaming. But I'll do it later. Remind me later when we meet. Yeah. Okay. So, let's see if we can go first again. We can. Will we be playing Pikram or Supporter less Pikram today? Okay, we're playing Pikram this time. Thank you so much for the follow, Dice N. <laughs> Thank you, Dashi Gaming. Appreciate it. Ooh, this is this is a pretty good Pokemon to start with, I guess. Um, okay, so Custom Catcher is very nice. A skateboard, not particularly useful. I feel like the cards to discard are the Volkner and the skateboard or the Electro Power. I'm gonna go with this too. Oh, I'm sorry, Level Up Gaming. Yeah, your draws were very atrocious. I I definitely agree with that. Okay, I priced my both my two choo choos. Great. Speaking of, <laughs> something has to go wrong, right? Okay, so let's bench, bench, and then let's Lily for five. Okay, we get an energy, we get a Kogo Prism. 
very awkward start because we have a terrible follow-up. But I might just have to go all in on whatever it is that my opponent has here. We'll see. And if he gets a crazy turn to KO the Sigalith, then so be it. Right? We don't mind that. Maybe I shouldn't have played this because if he, if he has double custom gacher, he definitely goes after this guy. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So we'll see what happens here. We shall see what happens. Judge Whistle for one. Okay, that works. That works. Church Ball for Titania, of course. No, for Pikaram. Okay. For the Pikaram. Discards the Pikaram, which I'm not a big fan of. Not a great card to get. Okay, so what's my plan here? Am I willing to just go all in to try to get the attack of Looting the two Electro Bars is really going to suck though. Because then, like, what's the advantage of the Seagull if, if that happens? Like, I can literally play every card from my hand, but what does that even accomplish? That's the question. And who do I even KO? Like, custom catcher and try to KO? Maybe the Zeraora, I guess? Zeraora. Did I have the double cost? Uh, double electro power, sorry. And then I'll just go ahead and attack switch from this big room to this big room. And then there's a Lily. <laughs> okay. Uh, sure. <laughs> so now I'm gonna be out of switches. Not out, but you know. Dr. Brushy T, thank you so much for the follow. I mean. Jeez. <laughs> Yeah, the energy would not have mattered. I only find one. I've now lost three Electro Powers. Hello, Paul. I am not doing so well today. How about you? <laughs> I'm drawing so bad today. I am drawing so bad. All right, so we need the Sigalif to come in big here for us. Pigram is really not drawing well today. Okay, Thunder Mountain means we're more likely to get attacked, which is good. The energy, I don't mind. Energy switch, I don't mind. Wow, did my opponent really just mess up? <laughs> my opponent probably just messed up big time. Yep, yeah, Harbor yeah, messed up that one. Yeah, 100% messed up that one. Okay, please don't give him double custom catcher to reward his awful play here. <sighs> okay. Okay, this is not completely terrible though. This is actually not completely terrible. Because now I'm gonna get this KO. Well, no, never mind. It is completely terrible because I lost the Electro Powers. Because I lost the Electro Powers. So, do I play the Power Plant now? He's lost four energy. That's a lot of energy he's lost. 
Okay, so there's a power plant. I KO the Zapdos. I mean, he did get rewarded with double custom catcher, but he did get rewarded for, with the Zapdos. Um, Alright. So I power up the bench Pigram. And then what? Do you think Pidgeotto BHM is competitive against Pigram? Uh, I mean, yes, because it has the Alola Ninetales, right? But it, I don't like the deck particularly that much. This person is playing Lysium. There's the Coco. We'll use it now. So we'll power up the, the Choo Choo, of course. Okay, so I think, I mean, this game comes down to the double custom catcher from either side. Three Electro Power is gone, it's so bad. Best expanded deck at the moment. I have no clue, Gumi Gamer. I have not played expanded in six months. I, I have no way to know what's good in expanded. I haven't played, like, there's been two brand new sets since expanded became a thing, so... I mean, there's since last the last time expanded was a thing. It was before Unbroken Bonds, and now we have Unbroken Bonds, um, Unified Minds, and Hidden Fates. I have no clue about expanded right now. Zor Mute to Zorark seems like it would be like that would probably be the be the um, the deck I would start trying out. That would probably be a deck I would start trying out. Okay, I'm just gonna attach to the Dene. And I'm gonna go for a full blitz and just power up this guy. So this is gonna be a weird end game situation. Because my, my opponent can't KO me with a Pigram. Because then I just win. Yeah. If my opponent KOs me with the GX attack, then that's a bit of a waste. If my opponent KOs me with Zerara, wow! What? Okay, so I guess my opponent just forgot Tack Bolt was a thing. <laughs> I guess my opponent just decided that Tack Bolt was something he doesn't really care about. All right. I mean, we're, we're slowly getting to 10 wins, but I'm not particularly fond of this. I mean, I'm drawing very bad. That's the reality, I'm just drawing very bad. But that's a big mistake by my opponent. There's the two choo choos, there's a lily, there's the thunder mountain, and there's the today. Really great prizes, right? Two choo choos, the thunder mountain, and the today. Okay. Please, deck, can you stop like being silly? <laughs> Greninja break is the best. <laughs> I'm not sure about that, Henry. Um, my weekend was good, thank you. How about yours? How are you doing? Uh, Granger is one of my favorite Pokemon as well, because it won me the national championships in Mexico. Have I checked out the new Ninetales and Gosler GX yet? No, I definitely have not Dashi Gaming. I usually don't take a look at um, newer cards until they're like about to be legal, because they don't change what I need for my current tournament, so they just distract me a little. Five prize cards in one shot indeed. I mean, only because my opponent let me know. Only because my opponent literally just said, nah, <laughs> I'm done with this game. <laughs> you know what, Sebastian? I never won that uh, Greninja champion match. I, never, I was never able to win that one. I was never able to win that one. Okay, so we're up against um, Mew Mew once again. And we're not going to discard uh, Power Plant in turn one. So that's good, right? That is very good. If we get a turn one attack off, then we're living the dream. <laughs> Jimmy's versus Seeker Battle Compressor meta? Not really. Not... Not... Specifically, no. I mean, every year the game changes, especially standard. I think it's um, it's good to adapt. Yeah, I think it's good to be able to adapt and um, yeah, 
I, I don't particularly like I miss the really really old formats like 2004 2005 2006 7 8 9 those were the best years in my opinion but this is still fun Lito Cafe thank you so much for the follow okay so immediate defense against the power plant with the marsh shadow but we can bait the marsh shadow to with the thunder mountain and then follow that up with the um, okay, I'm definitely not switching, right? I'm definitely not switching until I find, like, I can attack. So this lets me search my deck. Two radars. One energy prize. Thunder Mountain is there. Coco Prism is there. Okay. The Dene is in there. Alright, so... Not, not looking bad at all. I like that guy, and then... I think I'm just, well, yeah, I'll actually, you know what, I'll grab the other Choo Choo, and I'm going to discard this second Pikram. I think I'd rather have two Choo Choo's down than the second Pikram. But my focus, of course, is to attack on turn one with Pikram. Uh, alright, alright, this is decent-ish. The issue is I just have, I can only Lily because I might need to spend space for, um, for the thing. Uh, hmm, this is actually really awkward. Now I have to go into Jirachi. All right. I'm gonna grab this, the Cherish Ball, because if my Jirachi goes down, I need to get a change. Uh, but if I do that, then I'm out of, well, whatever. This deck sucks. <laughs> what the heck, I'm drunk so bad. Eh, ¿Qué tan competitivo es el Dark Box? No muy competitivo el Maquinola. Eh, necesita demasiado setup. Oh, I didn't click done. Oops. <laughs> I didn't click done. 2006 was the best format. 2005, 2006, pretty, pretty cool. Uh, Dashi Gaming, what was even meta back then? I mean, 2004, we had Magma, we had Shift Tree, we had Gardevoir, we had Swampert, we had Blaziken, we had Lantern, we had Whaler EX. 2006, we had Blastoise EX, we had Meta Knight, we had Nidoquin. No, yeah, 2005, sorry. We had, um, Rocklock, Ludicolo, Medicham EX, Mock EX, Nidoqueen, Rayquaza EX, Executor. Um, I actually have a few old decks here. Look. I have my second place at Nationals. Blaziken deck with Blaziken EX. I love this card. Like this card was $10 and that was the most expensive card back then. Like $10, $15 and this was like, oh my gosh, this is super expensive. Super, super expensive. Wow, the wolf fight is super annoying. And then um, this deck played Rayquaza EX. Yeah, imagine this was the big hitting guy, 120 HP. 120 HP and did 40 damage for each energy you discarded. That was a big guy. Yeah, Blaze Candy X, 150 HP. That was like, oh my gosh. That's impossible to hit. Alright, so what do I need here? Choice Helmet. So we see already some variation. Um, so what do I need? I need Thunder Mountain, right? To be able to get an attack off. And there's potentially Thunder Mountain. They just, I also need Switch and Energy Switch. And I can't get both this turn. So I'm not gonna be attacking this turn. I think it's just a pass here. Do you have your World's Nido Queen? I don't have it here. It's at my mom's house. Um, it's at my mom's house. But yeah, I can keep showing you guys. There was this Team Aqua's Manectric. Yeah, which. It transferred energy. So the combo was 
Blaziken got energy to a discard pile. This is like the Celestial Storm Blaziken. It just has less HP and deals less damage, but it has a fire start ability. You power up Blaziken Yanks to deal 100 damage to the bench. Yeah, with Volcanic Ash. That was like the biggest of deals. Yeah, and then you used Delcari Energy Draw to draw a card. This was like um, the, the Salazzo, but for any basic energy. And then you had Team Team Aqua's Manectric to transfer energy from the bench to the active. And then you had Rayquaza GX, Rayquaza EX's Dragon Burst, which like it just got power crept. Rayquaza EX got, got the same attack but 60 damage. And then you played four Dawn Sparse as well. Yeah, four Dawn Sparse. And then the OG copycats. Yeah, the OG copycats right here. Okay, so focus time. Let's see if we can get an attack of final D this turn. Uh, yes, we can. Yes, we can. Now I flip double hands. Do I want to go for the power plant? No, I want to bait the Mars Shadow. I want to bait the Mars Shadow. So then I'm going to Volkner. For an energy, and I feel like I reset that. My opponent has eight cards in hand. Two custom catchers are gone, two welders are gone. Yeah, I actually like the reset stamp here. And then we will still a wish. Because that potentially takes away a um, takes away an option um, in terms of um, like it might take away a stadium, right? He's lost one stadium, he's, he's going to lose the giant car, so he might be forced to use this, and that's where the power plant comes in. Super useful. And then, let's go full blitzer Rooney. Okay, so this took a while, right? It really took a while to get here. And the wolf is annoying, because now those two energies are definitely stuck there. And yeah, 2005 is when I got top 4 at Worlds. Yeah, you have the OG copycats, the reverse horror oracles, because my whole deck is also reverse hollow. I used to really like Blink before. And then look at these energies. These look amazing. The Matrix energies. This is like, this has 10. I used to really like my Blink. And then there's the lightning energies as well. Yeah, and then the multi energies that are winner hollow. Yeah, when you won a tournament, you got this multi energy hollow promo, like the leak ups and stuff. And then the reverse hollow warp energy as well. So yeah, I have this, and then I have the magma deck. I have um, Gardevoir, and I have, I don't know what the other one is. Oh, my world deck, my 2004 world deck. That was Medichem, Lantern, and Banette. <laughs> I know, Gummy Gamer, I know, but I love those energies so much. I love those energies so much. Uh, Henry, if I do a bounty to try a deck, would you have time today? Um, I would do it tomorrow. Yeah, if you set up a bounty for that, Henry, I would do it tomorrow. Yeah, I would definitely do it tomorrow because it's looking like I'm gonna have to, uh, like I won't get even to 10 wins with Pikaram today. So I would do it tomorrow. Yeah, I would do it tomorrow. Are these decks in the original sleeves too? No, they're not in the original sleeves. No, <laughs> no. imagine 15 year old sleeves. Okay, so this is fine because I have the double Electro Power. Uh, I assume my opponent is going to Flirt Blitz here, and then I go GX KO him. Yeah, because I have the double Electro Power and the energy. It is my last energy though because of that silly blob. <laughs> Thank you, Dashi Gaming. I'll definitely be in London 2020. Yeah, I'll definitely be in London 2020. I'm not sure. Actually, I yeah I doubt I'll be in day two. I'm gonna just go for day one, but we'll see. So there we go. And then I want to think I really want my um, my second reset stamp. And I have two Volkners to try and get it. I have two Volkners and the Stella Wish. I don't need to switch. So I'm just gonna data change here. Getting a KO plus reset stamp would be fabulous. And that's exactly what I get here. 
So, oh, I still have one more energy. That's good. Okay, so can I get a custom catcher piece here? I can. Is that better than the power plant? Yes, it is. Because then I just Volkner for the win next turn. And I just potentially Volkner for the win. I did play two Electro Powers this turn, right? I did. I'm just going to double check. Uh, drew Electro Power, Drew Electro Power. Uh, 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 uh. Played Electro Power, played Electro Power. Okay, that's enough. That's to 310 minus 30. That's to 80 damage. That is enough. And let's go for the Lightning Ride. Okay, so who do we promote? I feel like I just, well, no, you know what? I'm going to promote the Dene. Because if he, if he goes reset stamp KO, I have Jirachi. The only way he can KO is this guy. Yeah, I feel like this is fine. I feel like this is definitely fine. Okay. Awesome, Henry. I'm looking forward to it. I can try both of them tomorrow. Yeah. Eh, ¿Cuál es la función de Siglyph GX? En el mirror match, si va segundo y lo pones enfrente, a tu oponente se le puede complicar eh, usar full beat. Porque se le regresa todo el daño. Y pues de repente para intentar alentar un poco el juego, puedes subirlo y crear situaciones complicadas para tu oponente. Ok, so my opponent... Immediately promote their Reshizard, so I feel like he's like, well, this game's about to be over, I'd say. Right? It's probably about to be over. So do you guys want to see a different old deck? I have Team Magma right here. This is the deck that won Worlds in 2004, the first World Championship of the Nintendo era. So Team Magma's Groudon. And then it had Team Magma Sangoose. Yeah, reverse holo. And then it had Claydol. It had Claydol. Okay, so my opponent did their best play. Like, if you don't have a switching card, then that's it. But I do have a switching card, so I can just tandem shock for the game. Claydol moved energy. Groudon and Sangoose attached for a lot, attacked for a lot. Camera got energies back and then team magma's uh, maxi was like the the new maxi yeah they expanded maxi that got banned and then this this has japanese energies yeah this has japanese energies but it has the reverse holo magma energies <laughs> Okay, so GG to my opponent. We are closing in on our 10 wins. Yeah, very similar to um, to the Mewtwo deck where we ended up 10 and 4. So let's see if we can get two more wins with this deck or how many games it'll take to get two more wins. Yeah. Do you feel Welder is too busted? No, I don't. Dashi Gaming, like there's always a really good card, right? Before it was Orc, now it's Welder. Um, it used to be Kiawe. Um, Thunder Mountain is very busted. Coco Prism Star is very busted. There's always got to be a brand new better card. Yeah. Um, Alex, I'm not from America. I'm from Mexico. <laughs> and yeah, back then you were allowed to use Japanese energy. In 2000, I don't, I don't remember when the rules changed, but like in 2004, 5, 6, 7, you could play with foreign cards in your deck as long as you had the translations. And obviously, energy, you don't need the translations. Do older cards, do older card, yeah. do older cards get more expensive every year? It seems to be that way. Yeah, it seems to be that way indeed. Uh, is this the best way to get good? Any other advice on how to get better? Lindo Cafe, I think the best way to get good, yeah, to get better is to practice, but be very conscious about all the all the things you are doing. Yeah, have a very good reason why you are playing each and every card that you are playing. Not just playing the cards that you can, but playing the cards that you need to, which is very different. Yeah, and always playing to win rather than to not lose, which is a different um, mindset. And so a lot of practice is helpful, but it's it, it's usually best if it's like quality practice, you know? Where did I get my haircut? 
I got my haircut at a place um, like 10 minutes away from my house. It was actually funny because it's like, um, it's, it's a place that cuts hair, obviously. Um, but, 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 okay, Coco Prism is in here, that's good. But I was planning on going to a different one, which is the one I usually went to, but I put the wrong address um, into Uber and it took me to a different one. And then the guy that did my hair did it really well. I just, I couldn't be bothered to go to the other place to take another Uber. So the guy that did my hair did it really cool and um, it stuck, yeah. <laughs> Uh, all right, so I'm gonna Lily for four. No turn to attack for us. Let's go ahead and Stellar Wish. Um, I mean, this is not bad. I need a switching card or an energy switch. Um, I think I'm okay just using the other person. Like, when I see Dark Rye, I immediately think. Uh, my opponent doesn't have a, a big chance to to win here. Uh, I like this switch. I like the switch here in case my Drachi survives, which actually it should survive. It should be surviving this turn, and then we want Choo Choo for the big damage. Uh, almost messed up there with dancing before benching. Uh, dancing before benching, and. That's gonna be it. You wish you could do that now? Yeah, but I mean, it makes sense that you can't because it, it removes problems. It removes translations problems. There were issues where people would have translations for a card that they weren't actually playing in their deck. So then you would play around that card, but then they actually never had it, so yeah. You think that is so dumb that people from other countries have to use cards in English? I mean, it's Worlds. That's not true, Sebastian. I, I can use cards in Spanish at Worlds. Yeah, I can use cards in Spanish at Worlds. I can't use Spanish cards at Regionals. Yeah, but I can use Spanish cards at Worlds. At Worlds and the Internationals, the cards you can use are determined where you are from. Yeah, but if you go to a Regionals, the cards you can use are determined from where the Regionals is. Yeah. Okay, so we are one game away from getting those 10 wins. Let's see if we can pull this off finally. If we win this one, we'll actually have a better, an arguably better record, but who better, yeah, who better to challenge us for the 10th win than Pedro Torres? Who better to challenge us for the 10th, to, to like challenge for the 10th win? This is like the final boss, yeah? This is actually like the final boss of the 10 wins challenge. Yeah, final boss Pedro Torres. Final boss Pedro Torres, this is awesome. Protissimo, um, <clears throat> yeah, in Mexico City, not a lot of people want Spanish cards either. The Bowser of Pokemon, yeah. <laughs> And we're up against perfection, yeah? The deck that this deck is trying to counter. But he's using a different version. He does have Heat Factory. This might be closer to Robin's version of the deck, which has four super scoop ups, right? Okay, so having the power plant is definitely annoying. Uh, Pedro has seven cards right now, which we have no information on. So I'll just reset stamp him. Uh, yeah, I like these two for sure. I'm not gonna play down the power plant. Coco Prism is prized. <laughs> okay, prizing Coco Prism is a reason why I didn't do better at Worlds. In my three losses in the last game, I prized Coco Prism Star going second every time, just like you guys are seeing right now. All right, so I definitely cannot get a turn one attack off, right? Definitely cannot get a turn one attack off. I'm gonna go ahead and reset stamp him. It's worlds all over again, I know. <laughs> I know, it's super frustrating. <laughs> and Pedro is here. Hey Pedro, how are you doing? All right, this is decent. 
this is decent ish. I'm just gonna do this. I feel like I should still wish. Okay, Volkner gets me Stadium Nav, which might get me. Um, might get me Thunder Mountain, so we'll see. Petter is a true goat. <laughs> Petter is pretty cool, yeah. Petter is our final boss here. We'll have to see if we can beat him for that 10th win. Seems like we both had underwhelming starts, but pricing the Coco Prism Star is definitely not ideal. So yeah, Tin Eliza definitely looking like uh, Robin's version of the deck. We're gonna see the treasure for uh, for the Latios for sure. Never mind. Is Latios already in here? No, it's not. Goes for the data change, so confident and doesn't attach. Huh. I am surprised by that. So I guess he's going more for the Turbo Strike this turn. Replaces his own stadium, which I do not mind at all. Our Jirachi is a gunner now. So we need we need that head slip. We a hundred percent need a head slip here. A hundred one million percent we need a head slip here. Oof. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I feel like if we hit if we get the head slip, we might be okay. But if we don't, oof, it's gonna be tough. Just keep drawing bad cards. All right, so Stadium Nav and Energy. If we don't hit the Stadium Nav, we are basically out of this game. So hopefully the bad luck of pricing Coco is compensated by flipping a single heads. <sighs> I can't catch a break today. <sighs> Two stadiums gone for Pedro. Maybe that will help. <laughs> Maybe that will help. Welders to the bench. Four, two energies. I'm surprised by that. Oh my gosh! Does he not have a stadium? Does he not have a stadium? He does not have a stadium. Okay. That was very scary. That was indeed extremely, extremely scary. Now we need that to stick for one more turn. Full Blitz. Establishing the Jirachi is pretty nice, so that was a really good top deck. But it seems like we're safe. That one turn might change the course of the game. Whew. Top deck the Mar Shadow. <laughs> top deck the Mar Shadow. Oh boy. <laughs> What do you even do? It's like, he gets the top deck and the heads, I get the double tails and the price. What do you do? What do you even do? <laughs> Hello, Joe Bro. How are you doing? Does he go for the Charizard? No, just goes for the tag purge. Interesting. So he has he's out of Tate and Liza's. I feel like that was risky ish. Ish. Hmm. 
All right. I mean, so it's definitely Choo Choo Paralysis time, right? It's definitely Choo Choo Paralysis time. Okay, I, I mean, at least I get an energy to attach. And a tax switch. Mew might be very important. Mew is also not here. It's also priced. Great, 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 great. Great, 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 great. <laughs> All right. How many heads can Pedro flip here? Tandem Shark. No damage, but paralyzed. El Silvalich X parece que va a ser muy bueno, Derek. Parece que va a ser muy, muy bueno. We see a Cherish Ball. For the third Tetene, potentially. Yep. This has been such a weird game for both of us, honestly. Goes for the Super Scoop Up. Tails. That's nice. Energy and data change. Are we going to be able to pull this off? Does he have the fourth Tain and Liza? I don't think that list runs the fourth Tain and Liza. Well, I'm not sure how it's changed from Worlds, of course. That's another Stadium Con as well. There's another Super Scoop Up. So one for two, right? One for two. Did find the welder as well. Does he find the fourth super scoop up? No, he does not. All right. So there's one heat factory and two giant hearths. I feel like reset stamp plus power plant is going to be my best friend here. So here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking energy switch to the active. We haven't seen any custom catchers get played. I'm thinking I just play, well, ah, oh, this is tough though. This is actually tough. Or do I just go for the paralysis again? That's three super scoop ups gone. Yeah, it honestly might be too aggressive to... Yeah, never mind. I'm just gonna do this. That's fine. And then Tandem Shock. Paralyzed. The double Choo Choo coming in clutch. Choo Choo train full steam ahead indeed, Sebastian. <laughs> Choo Choo train full steam ahead. We see the Hapu. Oh my gosh. He's really digging for that super scoop up. I hope he gets it because then it would be average, right? Two for two, and that's fine. He does, okay. So, we'll see. We shall see. I don't think he has enough turns though. Because we have the KO. If he doesn't, ta if he tack purges, he's not getting closer to winning. If he doesn't tack purge, if he gets the KO, then I have return KO thanks to his Volkner, plus power plant, plus reset step. And uh, thank you so much for the follow, Karas. How are you doing? Thank you so much for being here. You arrived just in time for the final boss battle. I, I have hope. I have hope, I'm not gonna lie, I have hope. I have hope. So Pedro doing everything he can to thin out the useless cards. The question is, does he have an extra stadium? Of, does he draw an extra stadium? And what does he do afterwards? Because he loses all the energy. And he's down to one welder. So it's very possible he gets it, right? It's very, very possible. I have a switch. I feel like I don't use it up here. I should have energy. I should have electro power. 
Electro power, energy. So I get the KO. Right? I don't have me to protect this guy or this guy, so that's not gonna come into play. I do, however, have this. <laughs> I do, however, have this as well. And let's not mess this up. I need the five energies. And I have the switch. I feel like I just go out into the Zapdos since I have the switch. Lightning Ride, get the KO. Go out into Zapdos. Get my three prizes finally. I mean, I'm nowhere near close to getting another KO. <laughs> so Pedro has a few turns still. Pedro has a few turns still. Oh! <laughs> Just finds the welder plus energy? Are you kidding me? <sighs> okay, I got pretty lucky off of this, not gonna lie. I got pretty lucky as well. Off of my reset stamp. So I guess it's even, but his is more threatening. His is game-changing threatening. <sighs> that switch is pretty impactful. Wow, what a close game. Energy, recent stamp, oh my God. And I get custom catcher, jeez. So, I still have a pair of custom catchers left. I feel like I need to paralyze. I feel like if I paralyze, I win. Oh no. <laughs> so do I just retreat into Jirachi? I feel like hitting for 80 is very underwhelming. GG, how is it GG, Pedro? Do you not have another stadium? How is it GG? I can't win this turn. And I just do 80. It's been a good game though, for sure. 80 plus 160, that's 240. So I'm still missing an Electro Bar. I feel like I go all in next turn because missing an attack would be terrible here. So just 80. Okay, can Pedro top deck a stadium? He has one left, he says. Yu-Gi-Oh time. <laughs> Oh my gosh, what an intense game. There's an energy and passes, okay. Can I top deck? Ooh, that's very nice. Now I just need an Electro Power. That's a fantastic top deck. Stellar Wish, Lily. Okay. So I will go ahead and switch. At the very least, I get the Paralysis off and the Paralysis should be game ending. Even if I don't win here, the Paralysis should be game ending, right? Yeah, wow, that was very, very intense. How could I have won? How could I have won? How could I have won? How could I have dealt an extra 30 damage? I had the win if I got the custom catcher. How do I get the custom catcher? I lead. Oh, oops, <laughs> oops, that's right, that's right, I forgot I switched, that is right, that is right, I had the win, GG to Pedro, wow, I mean, he was out of super scoop ups though, so he was, he had no way to catch up, that was, that was a great game to finish this off though, that was a great game to finish this off, GG Pedro, that power plant, yeah, I knew I had to save that second power plant plus the reset stamp, I knew I had to save that. And then you got the Walder, you didn't get the, the stadium, right? I beat Bowser. <laughs> Pedro is Bowser today, apparently. <laughs> Thank you so much for the game, Pedro. That was very, very entertaining. I think like once the up once the video goes up, you should totally um you should totally um like showcase to your 
to your viewers how good you are, because you're obviously one of the best in the world. So yeah, uh, what a great way to end the, the stream, I feel. Uh, that was pretty good. Yeah, that was pretty good. Uh, a very fought out game um, where the Kogo Prism being priced slowed us down quite a bit. Uh, it was a very intense game, but a well time power plant plus a resist temp was what ended up winning it for us. So, thank you so much to Pedro for uh, joining us today um, in this. Uh, in this 10 win challenge for Pigram, this was completely unintentional. We just ran into him on the ladder. If you don't know Pedro, definitely check out his stream, Sininchi18, over at Twitch. Yeah, he's a great, great guy, one of the best in the world for sure. And with that, that will be all from me today. Yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. If you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to the like. It really helps out the channel. And if you were live with me on Twitch, I really appreciate you guys hanging out. I will catch you guys tomorrow, where apparently Henry will be setting up some bounties for us. So we will be exploring um, a couple of his decks. And um, either way, it'll be it'll be fun to hang out live. Yeah. So thank you so much. Have a great day to everyone, and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's stream. Bye bye.